Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by our station here at the fair. Uh, my name is Logan Hippis and I'm the Cognex Sensor Sales Engineer at Triphase Automation. And I'm here to introduce to you today the powerful, modular, and easy to use Dataman 262 image-based bar code reader. <clears throat> now, throughout this presentation, I'm going to discuss with you a little bit of the features and benefits of, of this product. I'm going to introduce to you a lab kit promotion, and then I'm also going to walk you through the Dataman setup tool. And uh, first off, a little bit of information about uh, Triphase, if you're not familiar with us. We're a high-tech automation distributor supplying Wisconsin and Northern Illinois with engineered solutions in a broad range of applications, including motion control, safety, robotics, sensing, machine vision, and ID reading. Now that's where our partner Cognex comes into play. Cognex is a global leader in uh, machine vision with over 30 years of experience, and they've re even recently sold their one million vision system. And why is Cognex so good at what they do? And why are we excited about this product? Well, first and foremost are Cognex's patented algorithms. They have very powerful 1D and 2D code reading capability that has unmatched reliability and repeatability. That's with uh, this tool, the Dataman 262X. This has 2D Max and Power Grid, which gives you the capability of seeing even the toughest smudged, uh, missing part of the label, uh, part of the label is covered, dust covering it, dirt, grime, you name it, this tool can read it. And uh, what's the benefit of having those better algorithms? Well, it's that you'll have a better uh, read accuracy. A much higher percentage of your uh, reads will uh, be successful which ultimately uh, saves you uh, time and uh, maybe parts recirculating to get a uh, positive read um, or being uh, rejected uh, when they uh, should have passed uh, for potentially not having a label when they really did. And next is uh, the modularity of this device. Now you'll, you'll see uh, as I pass this uh, extra one around uh, that it actually has uh, a very modular uh, housing in that it can uh, rotate 90 degrees so it can fit in even your toughest uh, space requirements. The housing itself is IP65 rated, uh, die cast aluminum, and uh, it's also got uh, highly flexible lensing, lighting, and optics uh, options to allow you to tackle uh, any application. And, and this is uh, key uh, because it means that you don't have to rely on different sensors or uh, maybe buy a whole new sensor uh, for different applications. You know that this sensor, with uh, the different configurations, will be able to tackle uh, any job you throw at it. And, and at this camp, Cognex also has um, <coughs> uh, the Dataman 363 uh, in the 360 series, um, which is a little bit higher uh, power, uh, higher speed, uh, but we know that this packs a great punch in a small package. Now also, um, uh, at Triphase, we have applications engineers that are also available for support, along with myself, that are only a phone call away. So you don't have to stress out, we've got you covered on issues when tough applications arise and you have to fine tune them uh, quite a bit, saving you time and headache in the post-sale process. Um, and now also, um, what I'll be demonstrating to you through the demo, uh, and, and you'll see with using this uh, setup tool software, is that this device is very easy to use. And the software is actually uh, consistent on the rest of its fixed mount ID reader platform. So once you get familiar with this uh, simple software, you won't have to change uh, to use some of Cognix's other devices, which is an added benefit to you, uh, saving you time in the long run. And now, uh, Cognix and Triphase, we're very confident with this product. We're so confident that we're willing to offer you a lab kit, which gets your hands on the, on, uh, the 
full capability of the 262X at a discounted price and, and a fraction of the cost. And is there anybody at uh, your company that might be interested in uh, getting your hands on one of these that maybe isn't with us right now? Maybe exploring one of the other booths? We got everybody here? All right, great. Well, let's jump into the demo. A brief introduction of uh, the setup tool. Uh, across the top, we have ribbons displaying different settings uh, if you need to change uh, parameters or configurations. Uh, we're going to stick with the quick setup pane where we have our live tuned and test options. Now we're also going to uh, uh, see our read performance and our tune results here on the right, and then our results uh, displaying uh, the decoded codes. So if I put this into live mode, you can see, wow, that's a pretty ugly code there, but we're consistently being able to pick that up with relative ease. Um, you can see uh, there's the response uh, of the decoding, this uh, green bar on the top. That gives you uh, your response that it indeed worked. Uh, you've got uh, LEDs indicating uh, connectivity uh, for communications and also power. Uh, so that's good when you you got those tough to reach places and um, you have to see some or hear some kind of indication. We've also got uh, two green LEDs that um, show you where your uh, data band is going to be uh, taking an image of uh, the area. Uh, so you can really line up those uh, aimers uh, real precisely. And then uh, we've also got a trigger and tune button right on the device. So if you need to just take a trigger to see what it's going to look like from whatever location, maybe you're reaching around or underneath, uh, that's easy. You can also tune it from that any location. We're going to hop out of live mode here, and then we're going to jump in, and we're going to tune it. Now, when it's tuning, what it's doing is it's cycling through uh, the different uh, exposures, uh, brightness, uh, tuning. You can see these green green circles here uh, surrounding the code. That's regions of high contrast, it's, it's recognizing that that's where our code can be. So it's optimizing it, uh, the image quality for that region. Now, as it's cycling through there, uh, I'll uh, highlight what this uh, power grid plate is actually depicting. So on this power grid plate, we've got a quiet zone violation, but first, before I get into that, I'd like to describe what, uh, what is all on uh, a 2D code. So a 2D code, as you can see here, has a finder pattern on the left and on the bottom, and a clocking pattern on the top and to the right. Now the finder pattern uh, shows the orientation and location of the code and the size, while the clocking pattern actually tells you the size of each module within the code. Now it's, that sets up a reference frame for the 2D Max to locate where it is, but it is the power of power grid that allows us to read even the toughest codes, where parts of the code are eliminated, destroyed, and we just can't see. But I'm going to put this in test mode and then show you just how powerful it is. Now you can see right there we've got a quiet zone violation. You can see right here we've got finder pattern damage. Still able to read it, no problem. You can see right here we've got clocking pattern damage. So the whole clocking pattern is missing. Now, here's a tough one. We've got both the clocking and the finder pattern missing. And this is able to pick it up, no problem. That's the power of power grid. Because power grid, unlike other algorithms, Power Grid is actually reading the code once it's trained from the inside out. Most algorithms go from the outside in. <clears throat> now say for example, uh, like I was describing before, if you have uh, a part coming by, say um, your, uh, you had some label that was uh, obstructing the view of your code and it cut off a side. Look at that whole part of the side is gone, you can still read it. Let's say you had some flakes that came through uh, and you <clears throat> they were obstructing the view of the code. That whole corner is gone. Look at that, I'm almost halfway into the image. 
and we're still able to read it. No problem. Now, <clears throat> that is ultimately the power of this device. And I've got these I've got these cards I can also pass around uh, that can give you an example of uh, a good code and then all of those uh, feature blockage, or not, sorry, not blockage, but uh, quiet zone violation and uh, the damage to the clocking and finding patterns. Uh, I can leave that with you as well. So you can test it on uh, maybe some of the readers you already have and, and really see how this, uh, our device stacks up. But as you can see, that's, that's as simple as it is to set up and test uh, the Dataman uh, 262. Three-step process, uh, live video, set up your image, tune it to um, really get the optimal image that you can once you have your field of view, and then test it. And as you can see, we haven't reported a fail result yet. Now another tool that's very useful um, with this uh, setup tool is using it for process control metrics. You might be like, well, what's that? Well, throughout your process, you may want to uh, understand why maybe a code was failed. Because there may be, there may be significant reasons. Maybe it's uh, an operator with you know, a hand or a finger was in there. Um, you'd be able to save and then those uh, failed images to really actually go over and see why it failed. Was there uh, a film covering it? Was there a, um, some dust or dirt getting in the way so that you know how to contain the issue uh, in the future? And, and those are all configurable uh, in the settings as well. So uh, back into the uh, uh, lab kit offering, what we have is an, an option for the uh, Dataman barcode reader that you see right here. <clears throat> Sorry, barcode and or 1D and 2D reader. Um, we've got the 262X uh, with power rib, our most powerful algorithm. Uh, it'll come standard with a 6.2 millimeter liquid lens and a red light. Now you can upgrade it to the configuration you see here with the image max that includes a 16 millimeter liquid lens, a high powered LED, and then a half polarized lens cover. And that'll help you explore uh, testing on uh, multiple applications, or even you know, between you and me, uh, this is just a great way to get your hands on the device and really to see it, its potential in your facility. So with that, um, I'd like to see, uh, are any of you interested in the power of this tool and want to give this lab kit a go, uh, I can set up a quote for you. Okay, great. I'd also like to introduce to you uh, the Insight 2000 uh, vision sensor. Now this is a powerful vision sensor that is also very modular and contains uh, Cognex's uh, patented algorithms, including one of their most trusted tools, the PatFind tool. Uh, and it also has uh, other capabilities of uh, brightness, contrast, uh, and measurement uh, and inspection as well, uh, with its, uh, coupled with its uh, part locating tools. It makes it a very, very powerful device. And, and as you can see, it's also got a very nice integrated uh, light with a diffuse cover. We also have a lab kit offer for this. Um, I don't want to uh, drag this on too long for you, but if you're interested in this, I can uh, set up a, maybe a demo to come to one of your facilities to uh, show you this product as well. If that's something you're interested in, uh, you can stop up here afterwards and I can take down your information uh, to follow up. Uh, but uh, without any further ado, uh, I'd like to uh, open this up for any questions that you might have. That concludes my presentation. Thank you.